Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch. It's been a while, so I decided to do another five great game development websites. In fact, we are now up to volume five. If you're new to this series, basically the whole idea is, here's five great sites, and that's about it. So basically there are anything to do with game development, be it, um, you know, programming, art, design, sound, you name it. If it's cool, if it's game development related, it will probably be featured on this series at some point in time. And once again, if you have a suggestion, please let me know in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's jump into today's five sites. Uh, top off, we have Miniboss. This is available here. Don't worry about the URLs. I will toss them all down below in the order that I cover them. Uh, this one's interesting. Basically, it is pixel art tutorials, and they are literally one shot in pixel art format. So basically they walk through through basically doing a pixel art process in pixel art in one screenshot. So you can see here a whole bunch of individual tutorials showing you the end result and how to actually achieve them. It's a neat concept um, if you're into the pixel art thing that is and there are I think 71 of these. So there's quite a few here. So if you're looking at learning pixel art, this is one of the quickest um, quick references that you're ever going to find. Uh, next up we are an art as a wet uh, art again. Uh, this one is Quaternius, I believe is how you say it. Yeah, Quaternius. Basically, this guy's just made a bunch of low polygon models available completely free. Um, if you join Patreon, you can actually download all of his things as one single zip file, but you can grab each individual pack on your own. And as you can see, very straightforward, simple models. A lot of them are modular that can be slotted together for a simple 3D style art game. And he covers a whole bunch of things. Some of these are um, animated or rigged. Some of these are super simple. Uh, generally, they are non-textured, but they are UV. Oh, no, not necessarily, but they all have color baked in, basically. Uh, ready to drop into most games, and you can see there is an art pack for just about every topic you could think of. Um, again, a very simple, primitive style, but uh, clean and, you know, it is well done. Uh, next up, we have Immersive Math. Now, this one is great. Immersive Math basically uh, gamifies learning math subjects. And uh, this is one of those areas where I think a lot of people definitely struggle. In fact, we have two math entries on this list today. It's a popular subject for sure. Now, Immersive Linear Algebra does not look too exciting from the cover page. But here, let's show you exactly how it goes. So they've broken down into different sections. And for example, I'm going to go into the vector chapter. And the cool thing is, so basically, you go through here, there are instructions on you know how to work with vectors. Etc. But there's also interactive um, vignettes. So you see right here, we've actually got a game showing you how vectors work with explanations as you go. So you see the vector in action, and there was some interactive. Yeah, so there you can see the actual explanation of vectors in action. So um, not only is it teaching you math, but it's also showing you uh, you know visualizations of how math works, including little mini games and uh, interactive demos uh, or videos that you can play with that actually show. Um, these things in action. Uh, so it's, it's a very impressive site. If you struggle with learning math, uh, definitely do consider checking this one out. Now next up is an OpenGL learning resource called, appropriately enough, Learn OpenGL. So if you're looking to learn OpenGL, this is one of the most comprehensive sites out there. And you'll see they cover almost all aspects of OpenGL itself from the very beginning. So we've got the getting started stuff. And we move on to lighting, model loading, so using uh, the AssSimp library, for example, uh, advanced OpenGL subjects, advanced lighting subjects, physically based rendering subject, and then we have an offline book option. Um, so you can download a copy of this uh, as an EPUB. Uh, so definitely an interesting site. If you are looking to learn OpenGL, very straightforward. Basically, it's a step-by-step -step tutorial site uh, broken down by subjects on the topic of OpenGL. And I believe it's pretty modern uh, in, in its implementation of OpenGL, uh, OpenGL 4, perhaps. Uh, so anyways, if you are looking at learning OpenGL, uh, granted, not Vulkan, OpenGL, uh, this could be a great resource for you. And if you're just starting out, you will probably find OpenGL a heck of a lot easier to learn than you would find Vulkan. And our final example is actually from my own website, Game From Scratch. And this is another math example. And it's a lot like um, the earlier site we saw. It's hands-on math stuff uh, that is specifically teaching you topics you need to learn for 2D game math. And we cover subjects here such as uh, angular velocity, exactly how that one worked, um, rotating around another object, rotating to face an object, collision detection using bounding boxes, collision attachment using axis line bounding boxes, which includes rotation in this case, and then uh, collision detection using bounding circles, and finally handling sprite-based shooting. 
like so. Uh, so each one has a tutorial link. You jump into it. Again, the example is there, but on top, the math involved is also explained as well as complete code for implementing these things using the JavaScript programming language. So there's two here today about learning uh, game dev math. And that's definitely an era where I think a lot of people su um, suffer or, or have issues. So hopefully you guys found that interesting. And there's, you know, a couple things in there for artists and uh, one thing in there for straight out OpenGL programming. So that is uh, today's top five links or five game dev links. Hope you guys found that interesting. And once again, if you have a suggestion that I haven't covered already, please do let me know in the comments down below. It will make making volume six a heck of a lot easier for me. Uh, and on top of that, if you haven't checked out the previous entries in the series, I think I'll put them all together in a playlist if I haven't done so already. And I will link that down below as well. All right. Hope you enjoyed that. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.